These drawers were really plain, but as soon as I saw them, I knew I wanted them to be a French country piece. The equipment I used for this project included Dixie Belle synthetic brushes, the Dixie Belle blue sponge, a Dixie Belle mister, an artist brush and some paper towel. Preparation products included Dixie Belle's white lightning and slick stick bonding primer. I used Dixie Belle Savannah Mist and Drop Cloth Chalk Mineral Paint, Satin Clear Coat, Grunge Glaze and Gold Gilding Wax. After cleaning the piece with white lightning and rinsing off the cleaner, two coats of Dixie Belle Slick Stick Bonding Primer were applied as this piece was quite glossy. After allowing the slick stick to dry for 24 hours, Dixie Belle's Drop Cloth Chalk Mineral Paint was applied. The chalk mineral paint doesn't take very long to dry, so I was able to do another coat in about 30 minutes afterwards. Two coats of Dixie Belle's Savannah Mist Chalk Mineral Paint was then applied to the front on all the drawers. When working around raised details, it's a good idea not to use too much paint on your brush, otherwise you could end up with drips. If it's a hot day or you find that your paint's not moving very well, you could always use a Dixie Belle mister to mist your paint and get it moving again. Using a mister also helps minimise brush strokes. Next, Dixie Belle's drop cloth was applied to the finer details using an artist brush. If I went out of the lines, I just used some Savannah Mist to tidy up any of the areas. But this was a French country look and as we know, French country is not perfect and I was going for an authentically aged look. Two coats of drop cloth were required on the details to get an opaque look. When the paint was dry, Dixie Belle's Satin Clear Coat was applied using their blue sponge over the entire piece. This Satin Clear Coat will make it a lot easier for the glaze to move and be wiped back where required. Once the Satin Clear Coat had dried, I applied Dixie Belle's Grunge Glaze over the piece using a chip brush. I worked in small sections as the glaze does tend to dry quickly. Now the Satin Clear Coat is going to make it easier to wipe back the glaze where required with a paper towel. If I wanted it darker, I could do more coats or wipe back less. Grunge glaze really gives the paint an aged look and was perfect for the French country feel. When you first open the grunge glaze, it does appear blue, but don't stress, it will come out a lovely vintage brown. The same steps were repeated on the sides and the tops with the clear coat and the grunge glaze being applied. If you find that the glaze is drying too quick or not moving, you can use a water mister to uh, help the product move more easily. Finally, gold gilding wax was applied to the details. I used my finger, but you can use an artist brush. I used my finger so that it would go on sparingly and would make it look like it was faded gold leaf and like it was something that had sat in a chateau for years. Gold gilding wax was also added to the handles. I hope you like the finished product and that it's something that you could imagine in a French chateau. It really is amazing what chalk paint can do and I hope that this has inspired you to give this a go on maybe one of your pieces at home. I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button and follow us here or visit our website for these products www.theprovincialfarmhouse.com.au. Thanks for watching.